I'm back, and this would be my podcast, the uh, first one in a few weeks. Um, I was actually going to post something for Christmas, but I never got around to it due to internet issues, and I'll just save it for, like, Christmas in July or something. Um, I know I'm trying to keep all my news stuff out of my podcasts, but I am going to put this out there. I haven't had any entries yet for my image contest, and I'd love to get some, okay? So please, please, someone, give me something. I don't care what it is at this point. You can have stick figures, or you could use Minimator if you're good at it. I don't care. Um... And if you're using Rhinomator or you need one of my skins for an example, just ask me. You can say, hey, can I have the skin that has your hair half and half, half red, half blue? Can I have the one where your head, hair is all blue? Can I have the one where your head is all red? Just ask me. Or if you want me to make a skin for you to use of my character, I will do that. Um... Speaking of Minimator, I've gotten it, and I've been playing with it, making images and stuff. If you guys want me to start posting pictures of that, come on, tell me. <laughs> hey, I'll even do, um, Let's Create. I don't know. I haven't figured out the animating part, but I think I've gotten the hang of the positioning my puppets or models or whatever it is to make my pictures look nice so just tell me if you want me to upload any of them or if you want me to kind of do a let's create a scene thing and uh, I'll do it I have a couple of worlds on my private stuff that I made so I could go in copy things I need like houses terrain that kind of stuff and then I just Throw it in and go. Um, I'm not going to probably do what TT's doing because then I'll feel like I'm stealing her idea. But I was curious when she started talking about doing her um, um, comic. I was curious about it, so I downloaded it and started playing with it, and it's kind of fun. And so I've made a couple of things with it, and you're going to hear random stuff in the background because I'm getting ready to do the dishes. So I'm putting stuff away, and I'm cleaning up, so you'll hear cupboards opening and things clanging, so just be warned. Anyway, also I'm going back and forth between the com where my computer's sitting and everywhere else. There we go. So, you probably just heard a bunch of pan pots and pans. That was me putting something away. Anyway, um, I won't do comics, but maybe I'll do, like, little sketches, you know, where I just maybe have a couple of voice bubbles that have my characters making some weird joke or something. I've um, made one with Hello Cat. And Briar, Briar the Wolf, my boyfriend, and um, one with our friend Aisha, and let's see, one of them actually also includes um, an OC character that I created for a um, Minecraft roleplay I did with Briar. It was just like paper, pen, paper and pink, only we do it over Skype sort of game where we come up with the idea and then we just see what it what happens. But anyway, um, I use the character. TT seen the skin for it because I was trying to figure out if it looked good or not. Um, her name is Emery. She's based, the world she is from is kind of based on um, the Crafty Girls comic, kind of. And I'm borrowing Diamond for her backstory, but I've completely changed Diamond a little bit, except for the fact she was with Hero, and, um, anyway, Emery, or Emerald, is Diamond's cousin, and they come from a world, or 
yeah, server called, um, oh, I'm having issues with it, um, Jim, Jim Wars, there we go, or Wars, or something like that, but anyway, Emerald's full name is Emerald Miner, um, her family are excellent miners, Emerald Gem Miner, excuse me. They're excellent miners. They can find any kind of gem they want, pretty much, on, on a whim. It's like they have targeting. It's kind of like when T Tomboy in the comic says she was going to go look for diamonds, and then Hero says, hey, there's like 42 diamonds right down there. And she's like, really? <laughs> but anyway, it's something like that, only they don't have that kind of radar. They just have a rough idea of where they are. Um, Emery is... A former royal archer for the Ruby Clan, a royal family. Um, she was the commander of the archers and a very skilled um, warrior. And then all of a sudden, their world was invaded by hackers or evil magicians, whatever. I just called them hackers for now. I'm still working on what to call them. I'll probably start writing like a bunch of short stories to kind of help give me background and if you guys want to hear read those tell me and I will post them on the forums I'll post them on DeviantArt heck I'll post them on my fan fiction page and I'll put links in the descriptions whenever I update them and post that on the news how about this you guys tell me if you want me to do that okay I'm We'll figure out how to make a poll, and I want you guys to do it. I will make a poll, and if you want me to do make start using my fan fiction and writing stories there, tell me. I, I love writing stories. It's actually my way of um, practicing my writing. I love doing fan fictions because I've got technically a bunch of characters already there. I just need to try and use them to write my story. Sometimes I'll put in, actually a lot of times I put OCs in, but I try to avoid making them too Mary Sue-ish because, you know, that's always bad. But, um, <clears throat> anyway, back on topic. But, um, and the hackers just start taking out a lot of the, um, clans within the server. So, finally, they get together and they decide to um, combine forces in order to fight the hackers. So Emery becomes in charge of a very large group of the best archers in all of the surviving armies. And she leads them on raid. She leads them into battle. She ambushes with them. And one day, they are on this scouting mission, she and about, I think I figured, 50 of these scaled archers, and all of a sudden they come across this one hacker, and he summons a bunch of skeletons in full diamond armor, and they're, it's enchanted, and they have enchanted bows, and they just start tearing into Emery's group, and soon her legion, her big group is dwindled down to five or six. And that's, this is including her. And they managed to finish because it was all of her commanders, who she is very picky on her commanders. So, And they all surround this hacker, who I named Zero. Pretty much he's the worst of the worst. Since, think, um, almost entity level. <laughs> From Carify, Carify's character, Antony. Think his level of really bad. Um, but, like, a couple sections below it. But still, pretty bad. Um, anyway. And then he uses a hack to transform into a small ender dragon. Throwing her back and killing all of her men. She stands up and starts fighting him, and he manages to slice open her face over her right eye, rendering, rendering her blind in that eye. And um, 
It also knocks her to the ground and he rears up thinking, ha ha, I've won, blah, blah, blah. And she's got all this adrenaline pumping. So she stands up, draws back her bow and nails him in the head and the heart with a couple of arrows. So once he hits the dirt back in normal form, she's crashed right next to him. Next thing she knows, she's waking up in the infirmary and um, her parents are there and they tell her her cousin Diamond is dead. So I have another backstory for that, but I need to get off of this. Um, anyway, <clears throat> and it's almost time for the news. Anyway, I'll probably pause for the news and then come back. Um, anyway. But, yeah, tell me if you want me here, want me to write stories for that or start doing things on Might Have Made Her. I haven't gotten any questions yet, which is why you got that big rambling thing. I really, really want to get some questions because I would love to answer questions. I call this the Q&A. <laughs> I'll start calling this, uh, calling a section of the podcast the Q&A, and then I'll just talk about random crap. Or y'all can give me topics to talk about. I don't care. Just give me something, people. Something. But, yeah. Um, um, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, uh, shoot me in the head. I can't think. <clears throat> I guess something I can ask all of you is, um, what do you think I should build in Shady Heights? I have my news platform, I have the logging yard, I have the bakery, I have the inn, I have the mining outpost, the mining shop, well, the mining house, headquarter, main house thing, um, I have the library, I have the stockyards plus the equestrian center, and I also have the two houses that are currently up for rent or to be bought. But what do you, what public? Oh, and the um, Shea Heights branch of the equestrian guild, which I haven't had a chance to put any horses in yet, but I will do it pretty soon. But anyway, um, I'm having a horrible train of thought here. Um, but what do you guys think I should build? Um, I need to go get on for the news, so I'll be right back. to what I was talking about, um, pretty much I want you guys to help me decide what kind of content you guys get to see from me besides my Let's Builds and all that. I've been thinking about doing a adventure Let's Play, kind of like what TT's doing, but I'm, I like to pre-set pre up my house so I don't have to worry about that. I don't get any materials. I just set my spawn point at the house I build. And I've got a bunch of private worlds that have, like, the perfect map. <laughs> so, I am going to think about using one of those. I might take a couple screenshot pictures and post them on DeviantArt and have you guys pick one, the one you like the best. Um, anyway, I've set up polls for the questions I asked 
earlier and um, yeah so just let me know and I think that about wraps up this podcast um, thanks everyone for listening and as always this is the lady Hellcat telling you to be kind and stay creative <laughs>